Today we're going to talk about how to coil a rope. So if you've used a rope and you've got a rat's nest and you need an effective way to move it or store it, uh, this is a good easy way to do it. You can carry it over your shoulders, you can hang it from a hook. Uh, it's pretty versatile. There's a lot of ways to coil a rope. Um, this one's been pretty handy for me. Uh, the first thing you need to do is find the center point of your rope. A lot of ropes are marked in the center, which is really convenient. If not, you can always mark your own rope with a rope marker, or you can find the ends of the rope, start at the same time pulling it through your hands until you find your center and start from there. So when we've got the center of our rope, we're going to take it, hook it with our thumb, full arm span, throw it over your head. Come back together, full arm span, throw it over your head. It's going to start making a coil around your back. All right, and what you're going to do is stop when you've got about 10 or 12 feet of rope left. I think I'm good. Hands together, back over your head. You're just going to start wrapping it. Doesn't matter if it's super neat long as you're getting the wraps in, put three or four on there, take your free running in, bring it back through your other hand, form a bite, reach back through, pull your free running in through the bite, and you have a coiled rope with some leftovers. You can throw it over your shoulders, take it around your coil a couple times, tie it off with a square knot, tuck the rest in your pocket, off you go. Uh, you can do it with extension cords too. If your garage is like mine and you have a biggest rat's nest, you can coil extension cords like this and hang them up in your garage. That's how to coil a rope.